Let's look at an example of a dissemination or release calendar for the quarterly national accounts or Q&A. In this example, the statistical agency releases estimates of GDP by the production approach twice each quarter. A first estimate in the second month after the end of the quarter in February, May, August, and November and a more detailed revised estimate in the third month in March, June, September, and December. The first release includes estimates of gross value added for 21 sections of the International Standard Industrial Classification of War Economic Activities, or ISIC, while the revised estimate provides more detail for 88 Isaac divisions. In February and March, the four quarterly estimates for the prior year can be aggregated to produce annual estimates at the same level of detail as the quarterly data. In September, the ANA are incorporated and the most detailed annual estimates of industry gross value added published for 238 Isaac groups. Quarterly estimates are not available at this level of detail. The data release should therefore include a press release that is provided to members of the press and posted on the statistical agency's website, notification posted on social media, and the posting of the full revised and newly available data set on the website. Note that the press release should be fairly short and provide a clear factual description of the changes in the most important data. It should also describe revisions to previously published estimates. The press release should clearly identify the statistical agency as the source of the data and provide the date and time of the release. The release should avoid any impression that the statistical agency might be interpreting the data from a policy or public relation perspective, or that they are giving a spin to the data. The headline should be clear, catchy, and factual. Statistical jargon should be avoided or clearly explained when it cannot be avoided. Many countries also produce an additional publication that describes the latest Q&A data in more detail. This publication may include charts that highlight important trends and changes in economic activity. Countries differ in the latitude that the statistical agent staff members are allowed in interpreting the data, but any interpretation should reinforce the impression that the statistical agency is an objective source of economic data and should avoid any impression that the statistical agency wishes to influence public opinions on economic and political issues. Thank you.